live from Midtown Manhattan, The Cube's live coverage of Big Data NYC, a Silicon Angle Wikibon production. Made possible by Hortonworks, We Do Hadoop, and Wham Disco, Hadoop Made Invincible. And now your co-hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, we're back here at Big Data NYC. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the ceiling from the noise. This is day three of wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Big Data NYC, the big event in Manhattan, in the Big Apple, doing big data, Hadoop World, Strata Conference, all here, all the players, all the entrepreneurs, all the CEOs, guys making it happen, building a business. This is SiliconANGLE, Wikibon's exclusive coverage of Big Data NYC. Our next guest is Jagain Sundar, CTO and VP of Engineering of, of Big Data company WAN Disco. Jagain, great to see you again. And we have SK, Hadoop Big Data, product management at Pivotal. Um, two companies that are really lighting it up here. Uh, welcome to theCUBE, guys. Yep. Um, you know, two companies that are lighting it up here in New York. Obviously, the buzz is heavy around Wynn Disco. You guys have done some great work here in New York City. And Pivotal is Pivotal, had an amazing customer event. Unfortunately, we missed because we were doing interviews up until <laughs> like 8 o'clock on the Monday night. But you had a great event in uh, New York Stock Exchange. Absolutely, yep. Heard some great reviews on the floor yep. with customers. Um, they're a customer of yours. Um, so first of all, guys, let's, let's talk about uh, uh, Pivotal and Win Disco. Talk about the relationship and talk about what you guys are working on together. Um, thank you, John. We have a deep partnership. And as you uh, know already, we've switched away from the distribution of Hadoop business to the nonstop Hadoop business, where we build a disaster recovery and high availability solution for all components of the Hadoop ecosystem on top of existing distributions. And one of the distributions of great significance, of course, is the Pivotal distribution. Our partnership is, is, is twofold. One, we run on top of their distribution. And two, their application, Hawk, runs on top of our nonstop Hadoop infrastructure. And there are great benefits to that. We can go into more detail about that. Uh, later on in this conversation. Let's talk about Go Pivotal, which is their Twitter handle. I like to let's say Go Pivotal because they're really changing the game. They spun out from VMware, yes. basically the biggest startup you've seen in a while. Um, a lot of people were like, okay, that's interesting, but now Paul Moritz is, is a great leader, visionary, knows his, knows his chops. Uh, what's going on? What are you guys doing in the relationship? And how does that fit into, into the, the green plum, specifically the Hadoop piece? Yes, so what we did is uh, uh, we kind of changing the landscape of the Hadoop with the introduction of Hawk. So we announced it uh, last April, and it's been very well received in the market, right? So uh, with the Hawk, what we did basically is took the uh, MPP database, Greenplum database, and made it run on top of Hadoop. So with that, you get the industry-leading optimizer and a SQL, anti-SQL compatibility, anti-SQL 92, 99, 2003, Volap ex extensions and stuff like that. So it's been very well received so far in the market. So uh, the customers we talk to, they have specific problem to solve on top of Hadoop, and Hawk perfectly fits the bill. The big data platforms is the rage. I mean, I would say the, 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 there's two big threads here at, at Hadoop World, big data NYC, and that is the data platform, data operating system, all the, all the nuances that go in and making that a platform. Uh, and then business analytics, uh, advanced analytics, things that are happening on top of it. Um, what specifically do you guys see in that data platform to bring that to the enterprise? Because that's the, really the, the conversation that people want to talk about is, hey, I have an enterprise, we want to start scaling. You know, 2012 was the year of kick the tires, no, POC, small POCs. This year was bigger pilots. Next year is broad scale and adoption. And then that second wave of followers comes in and follows that same cycle. So growth is big, right? Yeah. So, so, so everyone wants to know, what is that platform? What is that enterprise platform? What, what's available today? What's coming? Um, what, what gives that nonstop operation for enterprises? They need that availability. So, so can, you, can you guys talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about uh, the today's enterprise customers, they're thinking about, how, you know, from different angles. You know, you have storage guys looking at from the storage angle. And right? uh, how do I reduce the spend on the storage? So HDFS is a very good storage protocol. And at uh, Pivotal, we believe HDFS is going to be a standard protocol, and it's going to be there forever. Uh, on top of it, you need services. 
to make use of the storage that HDFS provides. Right? So that's where Hawk and other services comes into picture. So once you have your data in HDFS, which is highly available, and you can build cheaply build a HDFS cluster, you can run other services, whether it is a OLAP services or OLTP services on top of it. And that's something enterprise customers are looking for today. So what, what's your take on that? So HDFS, of course, is well proven in the world of internet companies like Yahoo and Facebook. Its scale is well known. Its low cost of storage is well known. The pieces that enterprises are looking for in addition to these features is the continuous availability, for example. And what That's we, the nonstop message, right? Absolutely. That ties in exactly with our message. We provide uh, uh, protection against failure of single nodes within a data center, entire racks within a data center, or entire data centers themselves. Your applications will be nonstop, and there will be no interruption to your data availability. That's something that enterprises have time and again asked us for. That's the difference between uh, uh, internet scale operations in, in Yahoo or companies like that, which may do things like analytics once a day versus some enterprise application use cases where things need to be up all the time. And that's the difference in our product. We provide this nonstop availability. Of course, we have three, five, or seven name nodes ser servicing a, a single Hadoop cluster. By that, we can distribute the load across these three, which has other benefits as well. I mean, it kind of smells and feels like the early days of internetworking at a larger software scale. You guys kind of see that parallel and trying to dissect it for the users out there that aren't in the weeds and the technology to kind of extract out the value because a lot of those enterprises, quite frankly, have Red Hat, they have NetApp drives, they have EMC drives, you know, they look at it from storage angles and oh, data government. So, so now this new world is upon them. Uh, so simplify it. Is, is it because MapReduce is now one element, there's now new elements. So what's the big secret aha this year for you guys in this relationship? So, so for us, uh, we are, you know, when we talk to customers, we, uh, we kind of hear uh, three themes of use cases. One is the big data lake, where you want to store any kind of data, whether it's a structured data, unstructured data, or semi-structured data. Then you think about processing the data that is stored in the infrastructure. Then the other one is the big data apps. I want to make use of the data and create apps and plug into my existing enterprise applications. The third one is, which is very interesting, is ETL offload. So I'm doing my ETL processing in uh, big, uh, my traditional EDW systems instead of doing uh, my ET, uh, ETL offloading in the uh, expansive systems, I want to offload that to the HDFS platform and Hadoop platform and make use of the services available there. So this is some of the ma major themes we see, and we are driving towards addressing those needs. So SK, I got to ask you, EMC, your parent company, is well known for high availability. Why do you need WAN Disco? It's, we are working with the WAN Disco for a solving specific problem in terms of expanding the Hadoop's capability uh, of available, you know, making sure the HA is available for a large use cases. Great. So I'd Do you like want to, to comment on that? that? I mean, Absolutely. I had to ask the question. We know we love EMC. We've been following EMC for, again, we've been in every EMC role since 2010 when we first launched the Cube. So, um, but it's not as easy as saying they have it. So I'm just, I wanted to ask specifically. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we have total respect for EMC as well and Pivotal. We think it's, it's a spin off that's going to work really well. They have great technology in the name of SRDF that was invented for making Microsoft Exchange run across short distance distributed data centers. But it replicates at the block level, at the disk block level. So it's not aware of file systems that run on top of it, and it's not resilient to long latencies. The problem with that is if something like Hurricane Sandy hits, you've got both New Jersey data centers and New York data centers taken out. So your disaster recovery solution just failed. Our solution is not dependent on distance. You can separate your data centers by a world's length. You can have a data center in Asia and one in Europe and another one in America. And distribute the load, too. It's not just availability. Absolutely. Can, they're all that's active. a big part of it, right? Exactly. They're all active. And to go back to your earlier question, MapReduce is taken for granted now. You need more interesting applications such as Hawk. 
the thing that people don't understand is Hawk puts more load as any more intensive application would, puts more load on the name node. Well, we've got a solution for that. We've got three, five, or seven name nodes servicing the Hadoop, so you really can balance the load across that. And that's the case for other technologies that compete with, with Hawk as well. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. More load means more pressure, more pressure point means more volume, so essentially what you're doing is essentially uh, relieving that you know, exactly. stress, if you will, on the name node, that and making correct. it less vulnerable. Of course, automating, we talked about that yesterday about you know, the manual, you know, manual reboots of, of the name node, which is, again, a whole other conversation. Correct. Um, well, that's great. You know, first of all, my observation on EMC is one, they let their, the companies do what they want, and if it comes to a certain scale, they'll buy WAN Disco. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, don't settle for a low price. Uh, uh. That's, that's well above my pay grade. But <laughs> of course, I just, you know, I just had to get that in. No, that's the way EMC operates. EMC lets, VMware was the same way. VMware, you know, Dave and I talk about this all the time. You know, VMware was left, and they did deals with, with competitors of EMC. So True. it's like, you know, hey, whatever. And Absolutely. then ultimately, you know, the Federation, well, that's a whole other conversation. Okay, so back to, back to the conversation. So um, you guys have a relationship with NYSE. Um, yes. uh, we've interviewed them on theCUBE before, and they have an interesting solution around distance. They have, uh, what's the product they have? They have a... It's a pivotal data dispatcher. Yeah, you guys now, have you joint developed that with NYSE? That's right. We How does that fit? Does this fit into that at all? Yes, so uh, that fits very well into the enterprise market where you have large amount of data distributed on, uh, into different clusters of uh, services, right? So now you want to bring the data and provide access to the data to certain you know, users at, for a certain period of time. So PDD enables that kind of a control to, uh, and gives you the control over the data distributed across the enterprise. And it's been very well received by our customers and we see a tremendous interest in using that kind do of- Do you sell that or do they sell it? We sell it. But they don't sell it? Uh, it's a joint agreement. With so it's us. a joint venture? Yeah. But joint, but joint sales or not? Uh, it, it's sold by us through Pivotal. Great. Uh, okay, great. Any other news on the partnership you guys want to share with the folks? Um, no, I think it's, it's a great partnership. And uh, both, we have brilliant strategists, Scott Yara on their side and David yeah. Richards on our side driving this, so we expect nothing. Scott's great. Best. He's been on theCUBE, our first uh, Strata we did uh, three years ago with theCUBE. Uh, great to have him on theCUBE. You guys in Green Plum, especially Hawk is doing great. Um, the data, platforms are here, right? They're, they're starting to solidify. You, can you guys just quickly talk about how you guys are seeing the ground firm up? Where's the ground firming up where people are starting to really build on? And where's the soft spots that are, that are hardening up in this marketplace? We'll start with you guys. So we, uh, we see enterprise, again, uh, they're trying to use the uh, HDFS as a common storage substrate for OLDP and OLAP application. Recently, we announced uh, Gemfire XT, which is our in-memory data grid run that's running on top of uh, Hadoop, and it's uses HDFS for storage. It's essentially an OLDP system on top of Hadoop. So we are kind of expanding our portfolio to address the enterprise market need that are trying to use Hadoop as a common data substrate. So that's where we are going at this point. Guys, thanks for coming up here. SK, appreciate it. Uh, Chikin, great to see you again. Thank VP you. of Engineering, uh, uh, great partnership, great uh, buzz, you guys. Again, congratulations, uh, Wen Disco, you. you know, really lighting up the show, like I said earlier. And obviously, Pivotal, you know, making moves, you guys are well known, everyone's aware of you, and, and a force to be reckoned with. So, uh, uh, congratulations on all the success you guys had and the new, and the new opportunity in front of you guys. It's just a great vision, I like that separation. Always been a big fan of when that happened. And again, like Dave and I talked about, when Paul Moritz in 2010 at VMworld was our first VMworld with theCUBE, he laid out the, the, the architecture. Now, might have two separate companies with the same game, and the yes, stack is filling yeah. up nicely. That's um, evolution in this business is great. Big data is hot. This is Big Data NYC with Wen Disco and, and Pivotal here inside the Cube, live from New York City. We'll be right back with our next guest. All right. Live from Midtown Manhattan, breaking analysis from the Cube. Going to Disneyland. Going to Disneyland. Yeah. I mean, these guys are great. Um, I think this is a revolutionary forum. Uh, up till a few years ago, I'd never seen this in my entire career. Uh, these guys are great interviewers. They're spot on, they're sharp, they're funny to work with, and uh, they just ask great questions. So it's, it's a real pleasure to be on the Cube. It's really great. The Cube is a live mobile studio. We bring it to events and we say we extract the signal from the noise. What we do is we get the absolute best guests that are at those events, we bring them inside the cube, 
and we talk to them, we have a conversation. We really want to make it fun, exciting, but more importantly, extract the data from the guests and extract that metadata and share it with the world so people can use that information to better themselves, better their companies, more importantly, connect with other people to do more business, to define more about the technology. And for us, this is the future. Uh, I watch many of the uh, the Cube interviews when you're handling other events. Oh, good. And uh, you know, it's both the combination of enjoyable and insightful. And it, you know, what I like is the uh, interactive banter back and forth. Plus the fact that uh, you know, when I think about some of the conversations we have, they're not only deep, they're not only rich, but the audience themselves will really come to benefit from those conversations. When organizations bring the Cube to an event, it just brings a whole new dimension. It adds a texture of not only independence but also explodes content from their community into a much, much broader community. We tend to reach about 10 times the audience that's live at an event. So we're a big data-driven organization. Um, we have a data science team that allows us to see not only what's uh, trending broadly uh, with the public, but what's tre trending in very specific areas in our specialty in tech. That allows us to vector our analysis and, and relevance uh, from our research and journalist team into everything that we do as a media company. And really the benefit of theCUBE is a place for conversations for people to connect with each other and, and to learn about things. And uh, it's a revolution in, in media. We look at the technology and the people behind it as tech athletes, those are the folks making companies making the technology, really creating the new value in this modern era, and it's fun, it's exciting, and more importantly, it's very social. The Cube does an excellent job of taking a very, very, this very, very broad platform and format and giving visibility to a very broad audience on each of the different uh, key aspects of the technology, and it's a, it's a great environment for the, the broader community who couldn't be here today have visibility into what we're doing, what each of the tracks are, and what are the sort of the core trends that are associated inside of Hadoop and given a very balanced view from multiple dimensions around it. I think that's invaluable for the community. We always know that your view is right until you hear a different perspective. So you're always interested in give me some neutral perspective, help me see it from a different uh, light, right, and maybe ask a hard question or two that I might not have considered. But, you know, in that sense, right, that independent uh, uh, voice that uh, always ability to right have uh, you know sort of in independent audited sort of perspective right of the world it's always just good so these guys bring an incredible uh, wealth of knowledge from their own careers they've been into a lot of different things in the industry and uh, they're independent you know they're able to bring different points of view and you know sometimes they have